Benjamin Franklin filled his pockets with pebbles, removing each one by one as he overcame flaws in his personality, at some point removing every last pebble, leaving his pocket void of stones. Hard to get your head around how can it be that easy to rid yourself of your demons. Demons who stone you with perseverating thoughts, with flawed words you said, flawed deeds you did, refill your pockets until they bulge, and you feel familiar pebbles between your fingers, their familiar edges, pits, and smoothness rolled over and over to provide fingers three dimensions of sight. Hard to imagine a Benjamin free from defect. A flawless human, one you wouldn't want to talk to because he'd be a carnival mirror, reflecting back your distortion, your oversized mouth laughing, white bubbles lightly foaming ridges of the one tooth gone out of place. You laughed when you should have been serious and flawless Benjamin peers down while you put another pebble in the pocket of your unfortunate pants. Maybe you said the I word. I know all about that because I see like a cynic sees. And who art thou, the eminent I, the warbler speaking from the throne of I know? Maybe you think you're Benjamin Franklin, who's lost his pebbles. Which is precisely why I'd rather meet those whose pants bulge, who possess their pebbles, their stones, who shift them in and out of their pockets daily, who aren't without pebbles at all, but fault-filled humans, now and then irritating, now and then oversized with mouths, now and then infected with, I know, often searching for light amidst dark thoughts, searching not to empty pockets, but recycle pebbles to leave themselves with the task of smoothing rough edges. The pebbles Benjamin threw away. Because he followed the wrong paradigm. He could have started out with empty pockets, and then he could have filled his pockets with gold. Fragments of gold to piece together a heart.